We are currently inside a massive indoor dome where I will be spending the next four days completely living in my truck inside this dome. The only time I'm allowed to leave is when my dog Sky has to go to the bathroom, but besides that, that's it. We're stuck inside this large dome for the next four days. I did the math, it's about 84, 85 hours. This should be an interesting one. Well, here we go. We're nine minutes away where we're gonna be spending all day Thursday, all day Friday, all day Saturday, and all day Sunday. If you're new here, my name is Becca, and I truck camp and travel around the United States with my dog Sky. And today, we are stuck in a very rainy and gross storm right now. But nonetheless, we have to continue our drive onwards because we are going to be running the four-wheel camper booth at the New Hampshire Outdoor Expo. This is going to be my second expo I've worked with Four Wheel Camper. The last one was the New England Fishing Expo, which was so much fun. But I wasn't allowed to camp there, so I actually had to get a hotel in order to work the booth. I am allowed to camp at the expo. So I'm going to be <laughs> sleeping inside this building. I've done some research on it, but there's not much to find about it. I heard that it's some sort of big white tent bubble it's called a dome dome i don't know what we just got ourselves into by agreeing to camp there for the entire expo but what i do know is that it's 10:45 a.m thursday the expo doesn't start until tomorrow i believe at one o'clock and we have to be one of the first people to set up a booth because we're a large vehicle so I'm going to be basically completely stuck and trapped. I get there early, park my vehicle where it needs to be at my booth, and then other vendors come in and kind of trap me in, and I don't have a vehicle. My vehicle is going to be inside, so I'm, I'm trapped in this dome. No idea if there's bathrooms. Maybe they can get me some electrical because I won't be outside so my solar panels can't charge. Let's see what these next four to five days have in store for us. Should be an interesting one. No way. I think I see it. Oh, okay. So we really are going to be inside a bubble. Thank you to Cook Unity for sponsoring today's episode. Cook Unity has signature meals from award-winning chefs that get delivered straight to your door. It can be done in four easy steps. One, set your preferences online. Two, choose your meals. Three, heat and plate. Four, repeat. And everything in between is taken care of by Cook Unity's amazing team. While we wait three minutes for our food to be done, let me tell you a little bit more about Cook Unity. Cook Unity partners with culinary innovators and award-winning chefs from across the United States to bring you an at-home dining experience that you can't find anywhere else. Healthy, balanced, and delicious meals start with the very best ingredients. You can pause, skip, or cancel at any time, whatever fits your needs that exact week. Cook Unity sources fresh and seasonal produce. One of my favorite things is they also support local suppliers, which is huge. They care so much about where their ingredients are sourced from. You get to pick a meal plan that fits your needs and your schedules. <laughs> this looks insane. For lunch today, I picked the ginger salmon cakes made by Chef Chris Rotel. And this is gonna be so good. Shout out to my boy, Chris. You know what you're doing in the kitchen, I can tell you that. Gives you chef instructions as well as fast instructions, just to kind of meet your preference for that day. Since I live in New England, I'm very picky about my seafood. These are the best salmon cakes I've ever had. There's so many options for great meals, even if you do have a dietary restriction. The filters include vegan, paleo, and gluten-free options. The Singaporean chicken curry rice bowl, pan-seared chicken breast with shallot vinaigrette. And then the last meal I have left that I have not eaten for my <laughs> weekly subscription is the Korean flake steak rice bowl. I'm a huge fan, but don't take it from me. If you want to test it out yourself, I have a crazy great offer for you guys. Go to cookunity.com slash Becca50. Or click the link in the description box and use my code Becca50 to get 50% off your first order of Cook Unity meals to test them out for yourself. Don't take my word for it, or you can, but they're really good. Again, link in the description box, code Becca50 at checkout to get 50% off. <laughs> Sky, now this is a new one. All right, now the fun part is gonna be figuring out where I'm supposed to enter this building. 
Oh my goodness, it's literally a bubble. Oh my goodness, it's just one big tent. I used to play hockey at a tent just like this in Cranston, Rhode Island, and it was just a big bubble exactly like this, except for this is a giant dome compared to the one I used to play hockey in. Also, the one that I played hockey in ended up popping, in case you were curious. It was like the one hockey practice I didn't go to, of course, and my entire team was practicing when the bubble popped. So that that's fine. Oh, is there a line to get in? Yeah, I think I think this is a line to get in. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, good. Um, is this going inside? The whole thing going inside? Yep, the whole thing. The whole thing. There's gonna be two of us. Um, mm -hmm. Joe is probably about like maybe 20 minutes out. All right, cool. Well, it'll, it'll definitely be 20 minutes. What I'll have you do is you can hunker down. Got to get a couple things out before I push you in. Okay, yeah, so, no worries. Hopefully the camera is picking up the perspective of how big this dome is, but that's insane. I can't wait to see the inside. I can't believe this right now. Yes, here we go. We're officially entering the D-O-M-E. Now Sky and I are just going to wait for directions, but we're officially inside. It's actually kind of cold in here, which worries me if there's not heat. It's going to be a cold weekend. I'm just going to drive. Dude, I'm just... <laughs> okay, Joe's behind me now, which is the other model of four-wheel camper, so I'm just going to go. No, not that one. Where are you going? No clue. Oh, it's you again! What's yeah. happening? I was told that way, Yeah. so I'm just going to keep I mean, going until I see the booth. See if you can take that left first. <laughs> oh, great. Hold on. Yeah. You know oh, yeah. Do you want me to, like, nose up over there? Yeah, so you want me to pull up and nose that way? Okay, I got gotcha. you. Your front end a little further right. Yep. Okay. <laughs> no, I keep going, Becca. Just keep going. Well, I'll see you guys when we actually have this sorted out. Any words, Sky? No words from from Sky. <laughs> this might take a minute. So this is the true and painful reality of living on the road and being on the road for so long. It's a disaster in here. I think it's noon now, 12.01. I have 24, 25 hours to get this looking super clean and beautiful. So to say the least, I'm not really worried, but I'm gonna get cracking on cleaning this now because I feel very all over the place and not organized. This place, is just an absolute disaster. So let's clean up our little truck camper home on wheels and get it looking nice for the show tomorrow. Day one of the show. Where do I start? Honestly? Super impressed right now. That's that's not bad. Of course, before the show starts, I'll probably move like this. I gotta move that, move Sky's bag, move the wipes. So ignore some of these things. Also, by the way, got a paper towel holder. Look how cool. First time ever having something like that. Another new addition to the truck is this storage thing that I also hung on my L tracks. Has a bunch of different pockets and whatnot. So super, super cool. Still using this thing as well. So now we got two nice little racks to use to throw stuff in. Keep it looking a little bit more organized. That went by a lot faster than I thought. I did get word. I don't think I'm going to get it today, but tomorrow and then the following time that I'm here for the rest of the weekend, I think we're gonna have electricity. I asked for our booth to have a cord at it. So 
that could be really cool. We're in, technically inside, so diesel heaters are not allowed. I had to have one third of a tank left in my truck. I currently have 15 miles until empty on my truck. So there's a lot of little random rules that you gotta follow. And one of them is definitely no diesel heaters. So I don't know what the temp's gonna be like this weekend. Of course, took my jacket off or my flannel because it got a little hot in here from running around, but I'm just really hopeful that it's not gonna be freezing this entire weekend and tonight. We're here for four days, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night and then we leave Sunday night. So we're here four days, three nights. The nights are all below freezing temps, so we'll see. Nonetheless, the truck camper is looking awesome and it's only like two o'clock now, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. We gotta figure out how we're gonna eat food while we're here. So this should be interesting. <sighs> okay. Well, everyone's setting up. We're gonna go grab some food but first we gotta like physically exit the dome, which is kind of complicated. There's the truck. Not too many people fully set up just yet, but it's looking good. Those are those really cool military vehicles as well. So many kayaks, ATVs, boats. We can go on a huge tour later. Her name is Sky, yes. Yes. My daughter had a dog named Sky. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Have a good day. Yes, you too. All right, girl, you got to go pee. Go ahead. Thank you. Back home in the dome. What's going on? What's going on, girl? First meal in the dome. Okay. Vegan cheese, pineapple, and ham from Oak Craft Pizza. Definitely vegan cheese, but it's good. Luckily, we got a DoorDash driver, so that's always nice, but this is not sustainable for the next few days. We got to figure out a better plan of action, honestly. Um, I have my some ideas brewing in my brain. I totally didn't just wake up from a three hour nap. It's guys dinner time though. I'm getting there girl. Take two of these and open them up, sprinkle them on. Uno. Dos. The chicken stew stuff from the Honest Kitchen. I love this stuff. Not sponsored. Please sponsor me. Thank you. This stuff's expensive. <laughs> just to honestly cover all the pills that are in here. Because I just opened up two pills and then I put another pill in it. Her Metro. Hopefully that covers the taste up. Little bit of hydration water. This is uh, what we have to feed her right now. It's pretty interesting. Luckily, she likes it a lot, so that's not an issue. One of the things I wanted to show you guys, and I think today is going to be the perfect day before it gets a little chaotic, is this is the other style of camper that Foreal makes, if you've never seen it. So how my camper works is it's basically just a truck cap. It's not a slide in, it just goes on the bed of my truck railings. But this is the Hawk, the slide in version, not topper version for four wheel camper. I mean, <laughs> it's definitely a pretty insane rig. But again, as you can see, like this is the railing where mine sits on top of. This is just a slide in, it slides directly into the bed. Okay, yeah. Oh, well, I think I definitely understand the hype. Same thing as mine, with the same lights. These are just the lights that four wheel provides that um, aren't plugged in. Okay, so I guess maybe this is just like a demo truck that they have. So I'm guessing they just don't have any electrical hooked up. I'm just gonna use my, my cell phone flashlight. So this is what a four wheel camper will look like without a thermal package, which is I got the thermal package edition. This is just the normal canvas that comes with it. Same kind of style bed, that bed will pull out all the way to the railings and be 
pretty huge. They got a nice little storage thing in here. As you can see, there's a bunch of cabinets, which look super cool. Okay, so this will lead you to all the electrical. So there is electrical, so I might just be doing something wrong. This is like the couch, and I believe it just pulls forward. Oh my god, there's storage. <laughs> That's a massive amount of storage. Is it both sides? Yep. That's an absurd amount of storage right there. I don't know how, but I know that this couch turns into a bed, and you just pull it. But I don't want to break anything. This is the company truck. I'm not trying to break it. <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh, 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 I did it. Maybe I'll sleep in here tonight. <laughs> don't test me. Here's a quick overview on this couch turning into a bed. So someone can sleep here. And then if you don't know, I'll do it. But these pull out and create a massive bed and then you just use those extra cushions over there that usually the extra cushions go on here for another seating area oh that's so easy oh that's super easy they gave me the keys to it so just saying just saying of course there's a huge price difference in between my style truck camper and then a really nice one like this but if you're looking for a rig completely dialed this thing's definitely it. I've never been inside a slide and camper before, so that was awesome. It makes my truck look so small, even though my truck has an eight foot bed. But look at the size difference of these tires compared to my tires. I don't know how well the camera picks it up, but there's definitely a big size difference. It is 5.48, almost six o'clock. Everybody gets kicked out and it gets locked down at eight o'clock. So we'll see how that looks like when we're all alone in here. Like we're just in a massive tent right now. I just, I can't get over it. I've been editing a ton. So you guys have a video to watch while Sky and I start a really big road trip. Hint for what's coming next. And I just wanna make sure you guys have stuff to watch while I'm driving. Cause you can't drive and edit. So. Just edited for like two and a half hours. Feeling really good and confident about the content coming to you guys, which makes me super, super happy. And then I just got word that the lady that works the concession stand is going to leave here in about 30 minutes and lock me in basically. She was super sweet though, but she explained to me everything in the whole process. Dinner tonight, Captain Crunch. I might have another slice of pizza. That was a smart move to get something like that because there's leftovers. It's quiet in here now, but once these shows start, it gets crazy. So we got the truck and then another booth right here. I think these are Airstreams, which is just absolutely absurd. The tiny house was basically an Airstream, just a DIY version. If you know, you know, RIP. We got three Airstreams. I've always been in love with Airstream, so it's super cool that my truck is literally right there and Airstreams are right behind me. I got a pontoon boat. So cool. Oh my God, custom painted. Oh, that's sweet. There's still a lot of empty booths, which is usually how it goes. I guarantee you a lot of people are gonna come here early in the morning. So I'm gonna probably get an early wake up. Hey, <laughs> hey guys. Oh, oh, there's another camper booth, I repeat. There's another camper booth. <clears throat> hey guys, come here often. This guy, he's not real. <laughs> what would you guys do if I just bought one? Oh, okay. So it's not a camping company. It's a truck cap, ex truck accessories and trailers with the rooftop tent and everything. That is so, so cool. And then just some kayaks, probably worth more than the value of my Ford F-150. Some of these kayaks, if you don't know much about kayaks, four grand. I'm pretty sure there's one for 500. I mean 500, five grand. <laughs> like this one right here. This one's probably super expensive. You got this, all this rod holders, amazing seat, nice propped up, two Lawrence fish finders, all the electrical and a trolling motor. 
It's like a $7,000 kayak. Absolutely nuts. All of these bass boats are deep V style bass boats, which is my personal favorite style of bass boats. Have you guys ever heard of Wheaton's Lodge? I don't know if he's the owner, but one of the guys that works there is such a sweetheart and I've always wanted to go. I would not say no to Wheaton's Lodge visit because it sounds like a great place. I've seen this guy at a bunch of shows before and he custom makes all of these. Like, look how incredible that is. Ooh, 30 bucks. Guys, remind me to come back tomorrow. That's nice. <laughs> First date, kind of nervous. This isn't even like a third of all the people that are gonna be here tomorrow once they're done setting up. Leadfreebassjigs.com. The owner is an absolute sweetheart. Not only is he a sweetheart, but he loves Sky, so that's an automatic amazing in my book. He's just such a sweet guy. This is without a doubt gonna be the weirdest place we've ever truck camped. I'm gonna let Sky out for her last run and then we're gonna get locked and loaded inside and we'll see how it goes. Should be fun, I'm excited. Hi, baby girl, hi. Oh yeah, are you? Yep, I'm on my way out. Um, I left the light, um, these are the lights that I'm leaving on. Okay. And I left the light on in the ladies room. Okay, perfect, thank you. Thank you, appreciate and it. And I'm gonna text the person who's opening tomorrow and Sean that your medication's in the refrigerator in the office so they know. Awesome. Good night, Sky. Say good night. I see you tomorrow. <laughs> She's a sleepy She's girl. She's like, I'm tired. <laughs> Thank you for everything. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. 10.04. And I'm going to try going to bed now. Go to bed early, so. Uh, it's a little cold. Definitely not great. A little heated blanket and cuddling with Sky should do the trick, but. I'm gonna hit the hay. I'm going to bed. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It's 7, like 15 a.m. right now and people are starting to come in already. It's freezing. This heated blanket, of course, saved me last night, but it's it's very cold in here. I say cold in the sense that I did did not prepare mentally to sleep in the cold you know what i'm saying like it's not that bad i think it's probably like 30 something degrees in here which isn't bad but it's bad when you don't prepare for it you know what i'm saying like i can't use a, any source of heat except for a heated blanket for safety reasons say good morning say good morning i think i'm gonna buy a hoodie from one of these small companies small mom pa shops because I don't have a hoodie. Oh man. My ears are in like constant pain in the winter when I don't wear a beanie. I have wicked bad ear problems, so I don't really have like a choice. I have to wear a beanie. <laughs> Superman. Oh, give me a girl. I don't know when they turned the lights on this morning, but it's bright now. The ear pressure when you leave the dome is insane. Ooh. Homegirl had to pee. Girl, you went out at like 10 o'clock. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh, I'm gonna get your belly. Oh, I'm gonna get your belly. <laughs> Bless you. Today's outfit, you guys know this, <laughs> this sweater and leggings nothing crazy found the best mouthwash ever like maybe two years ago i gotta show you guys but we'll rock with this for today i got a couple more things to do before the show starts it's only nine o'clock and it doesn't start until one I'm hoping Noelle comes soon, if you guys don't know who Noelle is. She's a really, really good friend of mine, and she should be here in maybe an hour or two, 
and hopefully ho hopefully bring me breakfast as well. I did text her. <laughs> we'll see. But either way, I got a couple things to get ready and then that's really it. So far I've stayed busy, but it's getting a little bit harder and harder as, as the hours pass, but it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. Is it too early to buy a sweatshirt? No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> I've been eyeing that brown one yeah, and it's a lot colder in here than I anticipated. Yeah, I love you Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, I got you. Free to grab a stick or two. Those are free. Did you guys just start up? Uh, yeah, I just started about eight months ago. Eight months ago? How's it going? It's going really well. Good. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, That's yeah. awesome. Sweet. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. I've been eyeing this sweatshirt since the guy showed up the other day. So, well, the other day, a.k.a. yesterday, I'm putting it on. If you guys want to check them out, I just ended up talking to him. He started this company eight days ago, but look how clean eight days ago, eight months ago. Look how clean that sweatshirt is. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Oh, wow. It's so comfortable. It's a little bit small for a large, but it actually fits perfect. I wanted it to be more oversized, but it's actually kind of, well, eh, I would size up maybe if I were you, if you want to get any, but first small business down. The show literally hasn't even started yet. <sighs> Couldn't help myself, man. I've been staring at this exact hoodie since he showed up. Been like 24 hours of me like, oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I just don't know when. <laughs> I'm going to finish cleaning up in here. And then the next time I see you guys. I'm going to have, hopefully, a little bit of mascara on because I look like I still just woke up. But I'm going <laughs> to clean up the camper. Then, yeah, the next time I see you guys, the show will be officially started. So the chaos will begin soon. All right, we're adding to our collection. I got I Heart New York and then a Fish New Hampshire because we're in New Hampshire. We did truck camp in New York, but I never, I didn't find any I Heart New York stickers, which is kind of crazy. You see the sweatshirts everywhere. Couldn't find a sticker. Hey man, what what's going on? Throat feeling. <laughs> Why is that normal? Yeah, the air in here because it's vacuum sealed. Oh yeah, wait till you talk to customers for a day. Okay, so I woke up and I was like, am I sick? Like, did I just wake nope. up with a cold? Nope, normal for this place. Here we go. Still only have Vermont. Uh, trying to make sure it sticks good. New Hampshire sticker. Officially got three states, almost all of the New England states. Probably should get Maine soon and yeah. Rhode Island and Mass. Yeah. We've gone to Mass. These stickers are huge. We need to start getting smaller stickers because there's no way all of our stickers are gonna fit. I mean, that looks good though. I think the show starts in, what time is it? It might've started. It started, it's 1.05. Okay, well the show started five minutes ago. Uh, so we should probably get ready. I haven't touched the camera in a little while. I'm really sorry. Getting kidnapped right now. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm in the, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> These lovely people are subscribed to the channel and I can't get food and I was explaining it to them and then they offered to take me out because they have a vehicle and mine's stuck sure inside. Of course. And um, now here we are. Margaritas? Mexican food. <laughs> <laughs> It's dark out. When did it get? I'm in a dome. I didn't <laughs> I know, even. That, there's no perception. The day's time. over. You walk out. <laughs> I know you're didn't introduce yourself, but this is way better. Introduce yourself. I'm Hunter. I'm from Merrimack, New Hampshire. I'm Megan. I'm also from Merrimack. <laughs> 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 I like vaguely introduced them, but I don't even know if I'll put that clip in because this yeah, is just way better. Yeah, this one's better. <laughs> this we is... were honestly awkward in the first one. I mean, that's so valid though. Don't spend a lot of time on camera. That's also completely understandable. But yeah, we're gonna go get food. I did tell you guys I would figure out how to get food. Didn't expect this to be the scenario, <laughs> but I'm not mad about it. 
<laughs> Can I do the Key West? Key West with salt and sugar. Can I do both? Is there a way to do salt and sugar rum? Oh wait. <laughs> What a shot. I don't know if that shows how big it is, but <laughs> oh, that's really good. What's I got on the coconut, bottom, like the red. Stuff? I think it's just grenadine. I don't know. Grenadine. That is so much cilantro. <laughs> <laughs> or is that lettuce? No, that's cilantro. I asked for no lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bite of cilantro right there. What if there's a string pole <laughs> with the saliva? <laughs> Salsa verde. All right, Hunter, show them how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> like 8.2 out of 10. Okay, 8.2. As you said, 8.2? 8.15. <laughs> Alright, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. This is probably ASMR. Thank you. Was she laughing? Yeah. <laughs> I am getting a to-go box with all the food, so I actually have food to eat. Maybe breakfast, fajitas, I don't know, you know, like food is food, right? So I might eat this for breakfast tomorrow. But either way, we got leftovers, so that's a win in my book. And I got two margaritas. Whoa, we what's this? You off and keep sky. Was this here all day? Nope. Is he sleeping there? All right, I appreciate you guys, thank you. Have a good night. Okay, they were the sweetest people ever. Leftovers secured, almost forgot it. How's it going? Hunter and Megan, if you're watching this, appreciate you guys more than anything, because I am indeed trapped inside this dome, so that was amazing. I gotta make my way back to the booth, though. The expo closes in 15 minutes, so gotta get back to Sky. <laughs> Hi, Sky! Hi, baby! Hi! Oh, I missed you! <laughs> Hi, baby girl. All right. Do you guys remember how I really wanted this sweatshirt this morning? And I told you the owner was super cool. He just gave me a hat because yellow is my favorite color. And then I was like, dude, well, before he handed me the hat, I told him, I was like, yeah, that, that green one's also really nice. He handed me this first and then the yellow hat, but these are so comfy, man. I'm gonna tag them down below if you guys wanna check them out. Super cool small business. Again, he started like eight months ago. So anyways, I'm gonna throw Sky in the truck camper. Successful day one at the expo for sure. I think everyone's feeling it though because today was a super long day, but tomorrow it's gonna be even longer. So I gotta like get mentally prepared for tomorrow, which is it's gonna be a lot. Tomorrow is 10 to eight or 10 to seven. So a couple hours longer and earlier. <gasps> I love you. Excuse me, miss. Hi, baby. Okay, I think we're good. Come here. <laughs> Hi, pretty girl. Good night. Finally in the truck. Put a t-shirt on. It feels good to take off the sweatshirt finally. Sitting down, relaxing. Sky is pretty much done for the day. She got so many endless pets. But thank you to everyone that showed up for day one. I couldn't thank you enough. Honestly, meeting you guys is such a surreal experience. Putting a face to the name. When you guys meet me, some of you guys get super excited. But I'm just as excited. It's so cool meeting you guys. Shout out to one of you guys. Came all the way here and gave Sky dog treats. That is like just such an unreal thing everyone who watches videos and, and loves sky and me i just i'm so thankful sky and i are gonna go to bed it's only nine o'clock hopefully i go to bed within the next like 20 minutes that'd be super ideal i will uh catch you beautiful people in the morning day number two coming soon technically again day number three for us but day number two tomorrow for the expo so should be exciting busier Catch you guys in the morning. I'm going to sit here and enjoy my nice sparkling water and hit the hay. I'll catch you guys bright and early. The show starts in like 30 minutes. My dad showed up. Got, I didn't even ask. He got donuts. So we got some donuts, which is amazing. And then I think Noelle got me breakfast as well. She didn't come yesterday because she got sick, but I sent her what I wanted just in case she did end up coming. And she ended up getting that today. So if I 
know correctly, she's going to bring me some caffeine and a bagel, and I'm so excited. So shout out Dad and Noel, even though Noel is not here yet. <laughs> yeah. I can't shower until tomorrow, so hair's looking rough. I'm ready for the day. Uh-oh. Watch out. I'm here. Do I look like I'm impersonating someone in the military a little? No. no. You look really good. That, everything matches perfectly. Ugh. Oh. She ate her pill, so whatever. Oh, gotta put this on. I woke up shivering to death because my heated blanket's on like the timer and it shut off and I woke up at like three just I couldn't walk around. I was looking for you. What a gem. Thank you. Hi friend. How are you feeling? <laughs> um, we're woozy, but we're better. Well, that's good. The show has started, everyone's coming in. I'm gonna take a couple bites of my food. I don't know if there was a line and how many people are coming in right now, but I know I need to eat, so. Beautiful. Egg, ham, everything bagel. That's so good, man. All right, I have not talked to you guys in quite some time, but I'll do a quick time check. It's 5.11. We had a bunch of people at one point slow down, bunch of people slow down, but it was a really good day. I met a lot of you guys again, and it was so much fun. We're at that point where Sky's eating some dinner, and things are starting to slow down. We still have two more hours left, and I have no idea what I'm doing for dinner. So that should be fun, but we gotta figure that out next. Look, see, Sky's just making all the friends in the world. I'm thinking of Uber Eats something, but there's not many options. I got really lucky with that pizza place. Like, we're gonna order something at least before the expo ends, so that that's the ideal situation. But day two has been really successful. Almost kind of took like a 10 minute nap at one point, so it's just kind of <laughs> catches up to you at one point, but so far, so good. <laughs> Good. Hi. Thank you. I appreciate it. You are so cute. That was actually the nicest Uber Eats driver I think I've ever had. I got Panera Bread secured. Sky and I are going back into our dome. I don't know how it got dark out, but it's already dark out. You don't even know what time of day it is when you're in there. That's it. <laughs> got the slow roll here. Oh, I gotta get under. Gotta get underneath here. Soup. Chicken noodle exactly. soup. Turkey. Bacon Bravo, a little a little mukbang hall, dinner in the dome hall, and then the Asian sesame chicken salad, the best salad at Panera. This is definitely smaller proportion than they give you when you go. That is such a small soup. So good. Does he stay here? To, oh no, he leaves. No, it's it's literally just me in here. Inside here. Mm. <sighs> I'm tired. My hair has no volume because my beanie was in all day. It's just flat. <laughs> It's time to relax for a little bit and then hopefully go to bed in the next 30 minutes. That'd be super ideal. So, good night. See you bright and early. Good morning. Let's see what's out there. Nope. I've been up for like 30 minutes watching some YouTube videos and someone just woke up and has been staring at me. Good eyes. Do you want to cuddle? Come here. Also, you see this bandana? Yep. Yep. Someone brought Sky a bandana yesterday at the expo. It was so cool, man. It was so cool. <laughs> Come here, girl. Oh. Oh. 
That's where my shoes went. This guy went pee, ate breakfast, she's good. Energy needed for today, also secured. Best pickles ever. When there's also a small business, the Pocono Pickle Guy, unreal. Those uh, Wild Bill soda, so good. This is what Sky does. She just goes to other people's booths. What are you doing? What are you doing? Because I get comfortable over here. I can tell. <laughs> PWHL game. Day three. It's four o'clock. I'm watching the hockey game. I know you don't want to be on camera. Sorry. You guys can't see Taylor. You're missing out. You're missing out. She's great, guys. But it's four o'clock. Ends at five. We're going to pack up early. There's literally like nobody here. Um, and many vendors are already packing up. So I'm going to join them and hopefully get out of here on time. We'll see. Fingers crossed. But yeah, it's time to get packing and close this expo out. Thank you for the pickles. I appreciate pickles every time. I will. Thank you. You too. I can't believe I'm doing this right now. I just lit. I mean, I'm out. I'm almost out. I'm going to be one of the first ones out. That's so cool. Uh, someone's already in line. There's definitely a little bit of a line, but I can definitely get out either first, second, or third. Did you make it? Uh, yeah, I made it all the way around. There's just already a line to get in, uh, to get out, I mean. Awesome. So if you want to hop, way out. yeah, yeah, get, park behind me before someone else does, because I'm just kind of waiting in line. They said it might be 30 minutes because the boat beat us. I'm coming to you. All right, I'll see, see you soon. soon. Bye. Bye. Got a bunch of people. How's it going, guys? Good. Did you guys do good at the show? Good? Slow Friday. Oh, it's so weird seeing daylight. Oh, wow, that's weird. But am I beyond happy? Oh my God, the sun, that's intense. Every time I brought Sky out, it was so cloudy out that it kind of hurt my eyes, but wow, this is like insanely sunny. Four days in a dome, could never tell what time it was. The air quality in there was so dry, and that's the only thing I could probably complain about. It, when I was a kid, I would always think, Man, I wish I could get locked into a Toys R Us like overnight. Like, you know when you're a kid and you think random things like that? That's what it just felt. It felt like being a kid stuck in the toy store. And it was so much fun. Despite, you know, having to Uber Eats food and kind of getting sick of the options that were there. Everyone was so kind. Every single human I interacted with. People that worked there vendors, people that just came out to see me. Everyone was just so unbelievably kind that I have no word to describe like how much fun doing these shows are. But man, yeah, they're definitely draining. They're definitely, definitely draining. But everyone that I met, if you're watching this, thank you. Sky got a bandana, treats, and about 5,000 pets. So she got all the love in the world to last her a lifetime. And I couldn't thank you guys enough for that. So I'm done talking i'm ending off the video here shout out to the dome for keeping me nice and safe and that's really all i got for you guys i love you guys i appreciate you guys and i'll catch you beautiful people on the next one